All right, it's really hard to see, but right there, let's see if I can get you a little closer. Uh, hold on. Right up in there is that top bolt. You see it getting started right there. This is on my 2008 F-150 here. Let's see if I can snake you up in there. You can see the extension right there. You can see how I'm going to have to come at it from over here. That's what it looks like up in there. If you need to see a visual. I'm also using this uh, quarter inch adapter, uh, three to quarter to extension to the right angle up there. A lot faster to run it in than by ratchet. I can't recommend this enough. Again, this is the extension, quarter inch uh, to this, to the right angle, to the adapters, to the deep well. And yeah, I first had to start with uh, one of these in the shallow. And I switch over after I got it drove in just a little bit. This saves a lot of the, the ratcheting back and forth like this. Because you can't actually get your hands up in there to grab it. Uh, and the ratchet itself, I'll show you in a minute. So the ratchet does fit up in there. But it's just very, even with the small head, the body is just very big. It's hard to see what you're doing because I have a mirror over there. Um, I, w I just don't think I could recommend it because it, you can see the body hitting right up here on that that starter body of it. So I don't think it'd reach up in there high enough, the angle for that top one. Um, I even have a, a long head reach. But the problem is then you're hitting this brace here. And it's just, there's like everything is wrong with trying to get these bolts in this truck. So, but I'll show you the other one here. We're gonna tighten it all down by hand. So we're gonna try the long handled, the long with the uh, deep well, and the long extension. That's what the long handled looks like. You gotta put it on the other side here because it's just too long. Then it fits right up in there. I can see that very well. Let's see here. Just like so. All right, after getting some dielectro grease here, you're gonna put it on this ground terminal after cleaning it up. It's gonna go in the back spot back there. Ah, it's hard to see up there. And you're gonna put some dielectro grease on these points up here. Little wire is your communication. The big wire goes right here on the uh, the main, and then a little communication goes there. 13, 13, and then 10 for the communication wire. Just like so. Big wire up here. The other one in the back. Oh, it's, it's hard to see that one. 13, 13, 13, 10. Now just snug those down and then reconnect your battery if you haven't already. That's the one in the back right there. That's the ground. So the one they sent from uh, Amazon, this one right here, that's a 14 actually. So there you go. All right, if you get those tightened down, now we got to uh, reconnect the battery or in my case, put a jump pack on it because it's dead. I almost forgot because they were on my face. Safety glasses keeps that crap from falling on you. All right, jump back's on. Let's see if it works. Look at that. She runs. Well, I'll bring you back for another video on a 17 belt because uh, my I think I'm going to have to bypass my AC pulley. We'll see later if it starts without I'll put the belt back on. But uh, as always, like and subscribe for more. Let me think in the comments. And uh, catch you next one. Stay safe and God bless.